everyone, here's chapter three, Joe. Joe had curly hair, but he didn't know how much hair he had. He couldn't count that high. In fact, he couldn't count at all. When all the other children went to recess, Mrs. Jules told Joe to wait inside. Joe, she said, how much hair do you have? Joe shrugged his shoulders. A lot, he answered. But how much, Joe, asked Mrs. Jules. Uh, enough to cover my head, Joe answered. Joe, you are going to have to learn how to count, said Mrs. Jules. But Mrs. Jules, I already know how to count, said Joe. Let me go to recess. First count to ten, said Mrs. Jules. <sighs> Joe counted to ten. Six, eight, twelve, one, five, two, seven, eleven, three, ten. No, Joe, that is wrong, said Mrs. Jules. No, it's not, said Joe. I counted until I got to ten. But you were wrong, said Mrs. Jules. I'll prove it to you. She put five pencils on this desk. How many pencils do you see here? Joe counted the pencils. Four, six, one, nine, five. There are five pencils. That's wrong, said Mrs. Jules. Well, how many pencils are there? Joe asked. Five, said Mrs. Jules. That's what I said, Joe said. May I go to recess now? No, said Mrs. Jules. You got the right answer, but you counted the wrong way. You were just lucky. She set eight potatoes on his desk. How many potatoes, Joe? Joe counted the potatoes. Seven, five, three, one, two, four, six, eight. There are eight potatoes. No, said Mrs. Jules. There are eight. But that's what I said, said Joe. May I please go out to recess now? No, you got the right answer, but you counted the wrong way again. She put three books on Joe's desk. Count the books, Joe. Joe counted the books. A thousand, a million, three. Three books, Mrs. Jules. Correct, said Mrs. Jules. May I go to recess now, asked Joe. No, said Mrs. Jules. May I have a potato, asked Joe. No, listen to me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, said Mrs. Jules. Now you say it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, said Joe. Very good, said Mrs. Jules. She put six erasers on the desk. Now count the erasers, Joe, just like I showed you. Joe counted the erasers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are ten, Mrs. Jules. No, said Mrs. Jules. But didn't I count right, asked Joe. Well, yeah, you counted right, but you got the wrong answer said Mrs. Jules. Well, that doesn't make any sense, said Joe. When I count the wrong way, I get the right answer. When I count the right way, I get the wrong answer. Mrs. Jules hit her head against the wall five times. <laughs> How many times did I hit my head against the wall, she asked. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, said Joe. You hit your head against the wall ten times. No, said Mrs. Jules. Four, six, one, nine, five. You hit your head five times, said Joe. Mrs. Jules shook her head no, but said, yes, that's right. The bell rang and all the other children came back from recess. The fresh air had made them very excited, and they were laughing and shouting. Oh, man, said Joe, now I missed recess. Hey, Joe, asked John, where were you? You missed a great game of kickball. I kicked a home run, said Todd. What was wrong with you, Joe? asked Joy. Nothing, said Joe. Mrs. Jules was trying to teach me how to count. <laughs> Joy laughed. <laughs> you mean you don't know how to count? <laughs> Counting is easy, said Marisa. Now, now, said Mrs. Jules. What's easy for you may not be easy for Joe, and what's easy for Joe may not be easy for you. Nothing is, is easy for Joe, said Marisa. He's dumb. I could beat you up, said Joe. Try it, said Marisa. That's enough of that, said Mrs. Jules. She wrote Marisa's name on the blackboard under the word discipline. Joe put his head on his desk between the eight potatoes and the six erasers.
Don't feel bad, Joe, said Mrs. Jules. I just don't get it, said Joe. I'll never learn how to count. Oh, sure you will, Joe, said Mrs. Jules. One day we'll just come to you. You'll wake up one morning and suddenly... Joe asked, if all I have to do is wake up, then what am I going to school for? School just speeds things up, said Mrs. Jules. Without school, it might take another 70 years before you were able to count. Well, by that time, I might not have any hair left on my head to count, said Joe. Exactly, said Mrs. Jules. That's why you go to school. When Joe woke up the next day, he knew how to count. He had 55,006 hairs on his head, and they were all curly. Stay tuned.